Hello, hello, welcome back to another video on the channel where healing and spiritual growth are front and center. And this video shout out goes to David Brower for inspiring this video. So thank you, fellow warrior, because this is something that I know y'all heard, have heard me talk a lot about when God removed blinders. But there's something that he revealed that, you know, that Mr. Bauer helped put together. And I went, oh, right, that's true. Because when you get in your purpose, you're all about your Heavenly Father's business. Guess what? But first, real quick announcement, okay? It is May 1st. Yes! Now, for the whole month of May, y'all, as part of our one-year anniversary sale, okay, you know, celebration, right, we, we, we do have the promo, you know, sale 20 promo code for select items going on for a, a little while, okay, so that's gonna, that, that's in place for, I mean, like I said in a, a previous one, okay, previous video where I made the official announcement that <laughs> we've got, oh gosh, like the month of May, that's when this got launched, month of June, that's when that got launched, month of August, I mean, we got one year after the other, all right, so we're just doing a, we're just doing an all-out thing, so for everyone, all right, everyone in the online community and in person, all right, you get 50% off, okay, you don't need a promo code, it's already set, you get 50% off one hour session for the whole month of May, and yeah, you can book more than one, there's no limit, all right, y'all, this is just another token of appreciation, and part of outside, I want y'all to be a part of it. I want y'all to be a part of this celebration, all right? Because it really is, it's, it, you know, it's a great time to do that. Yeah, it's just, it's wonderful. But anyway, so there's that. And then also, our May 2022 monthly newsletter, all right, it has gone out. So if you would still like your free copy of that newsletter where we, yes, like stated in the previous video, where I share some tips and additional information about breaking that trauma bond to items. Remember, that's, uh, we're all about breaking trauma bond, period, okay? But breaking trauma bond to the world, yeah, as the brand, but we're big about breaking trauma bonds across the board, okay? And that, we're here to help y'all do that, all right? Not just myself, but other fellow warriors, so down there in the comments and stuff like that. Yes, okay, everyone. And then real quick, real quick, Fun time. Yes, let's just have a little bit of fun all right, as part of our celebration too, whatever. However you want to look at it. Okay, I was just share something. A little quick, brief story time. Oh, right, drop it in the comments below, y'all. Okay, because I've recently done this. And we're... <laughs> it's so hilarious. All right, I've recently done this. And it's when you forget to rinse the conditioner out of your hair before getting out of the shower. I say, I mean, and I'll tell you because I'm in deep conversation with the Heavenly Father. All right? It's like deep, deep, deep conversation with God. And so sometimes, <laughs> forget to rinse the cream rinse out and we don't realize it until we get ready to go blow dry the hair. Like, oh, wait a minute. So, let's share a little fun down there, y'all. Because, hey, you know, we're human. <laughs> we're human. And, yes. We laugh at ourselves when we do that kind of silly stuff. You know, we're goofy, all right? We all, that's why it should be weird, all right? It should be weird. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Be you, all right? All right, so blinders, everyone. All right, when I'm talking about how God takes the blinders off so that you can see, okay, all of the things in the spiritual realm as well, you can see it, you can sense it, okay? That was God taking the world view blinders off. Yes, let's, okay, stop and think about that for a second. When we were trauma bonded and under that cloud of cognitive dissonance, before getting into God's reality, before we got into the spiritual awakening, all right, we didn't, we didn't see all the stuff that God's showing us, right, as he starts to continue, yes, to take us on that journey over the rainbow, that nice smooth transition, okay, over to the other side, to the spiritual side, all right, so, that's the best way to look at it. But, uh, and again, as a reminder, even when we get there, he's going to continue to show us stuff. Mm, there's so much that we missed in the first two realities. It's not even funny. But anyway, so that's God taking the world view blinders off. Lifting that cloud of confusion. Lifting that cognitive dissonance. Mm -hmm, that we had gotten somewhat programmed. All right, see, there's the difference between the chosen empath and the full, you know, the, I would have to say any narcissistic abuser. That's the difference. 
is that God's chosen one. Yeah, because once we realize that God's been with us this whole time, protecting us through all. Okay, protecting us through all that we have gone through. And he continues to do so. All right? Don't, yeah, it's not It's not just a one-time thing. God, he's with you. He's like, mm, hey. <laughs> he's like, hey, I, I created you, my child. I'm keeping an eye on you. I'm going to stay with you. All right? It, it's always us who abandon God. Yes. Yeah. God's not going to leave you nor forsake you. All right? No, don't let the world try to trick you. See, that's the thing. Narcissistic abusers, they abandon God. That's why they're afraid of abandonment. Just a little tip and food for thought there. Mm -hmm. Stop thinking about that. They abandon God, the Almighty. All right? They abandon Him. Mm -hmm. And they're engaging in all that wickedness. And so they're afraid of abandonment. See how God works? <laughs> yeah, so like, oh, okay. So there's that. God removed the world view, okay, about all this and this and this. And, oh, we're supposed to do this. Oh, you got to do this. Oh, you got to do this. You, gotta, you can't do that. You can't do this. All that manipulation and control and the narcissism on a societal level. And it's just like, oh, my goodness, no. God gave us free will. Oh. Man, you know, <laughs> like, wait a second. Like, yes, there are still some land, you know, let's just say laws of the land that we got to be mindful of. Okay, yes. But, it's like I said before, y'all, as long as you are following God's Ten Commandments, God's law, you shouldn't have. All right, now, now, not for, now for those of us who have had to go get restraining orders or you're going through that nasty divorce or whatever, just remember that's just a season. That's just a season, okay? But as long as we are following God's laws, you know, once once he gets us further over that rainbow and things like that, you'll start to realize that you shouldn't have any encounters. As long as we are being civil, okay, we're not obeying the enemy. Oh, uh -uh, no, we're telling the enemy to take a back seat, right? We're telling the enemy, mm -mm, you're now... That our enemy is now at our footstool. Okay, so you got that to look forward to. For those of you who haven't gotten there yet, that's all part of that being bold. Like, yep, mm -mm, we're not going to tolerate that kind of stuff. But God takes those worldview blinders off. All right, so that's where he starts to show you all of that stuff in the spiritual realm. But then, okay, but then once you get in your purpose, yes, God puts God blinders on. There you go. Because you stay all about your Heavenly Father's business. Oh, you still can see and you're still paying attention to what's going on. Obviously. Okay, you're still paying attention because God's not going to put the world view blinders back on. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, he's like, all right, I got you. Yeah, he's like, I, I got you, right? I got you here. I'm going to get you where I need you to be. God's going to. He's going to send people across your path to help you. That's just the way he works. And it's beautiful, too, how he does it. So, you know, you got to remember that. Because remember, God is a spirit. <laughs> so that we learn in the spiritual awakening also. For any of y'all, I know I did the other video about learn, you know, learning how to, you know, that having trust issue. Okay, I just want y'all to know something. When we trust God 100%, we are also trusting the God spirit in others. Yes, okay, we are trusting the God spirit mm -hmm, in others. And it does get easier. So just hang in there. If you're still struggling with that, it's okay. It's okay. Don't be stuff up. You'll get there. You'll get there. But God, whenever he gets you in your purpose. Right? One, and so a lot of y'all, any of y'all that can attest to, to this, let's drop that in the comments below also. So that others can get that encouragement and the inspiration. Because once you get into your purpose, uh-huh, that's when the God blinders go on. But the world view blinders, no, they're gone. <laughs> you're, you're, you got two clear lenses on now. Uh, you're in God's reality. So that's why it's like, okay, now he's going to help you get back in your purpose. And then you're going to be 100% with your purpose. You're going to fall in love with it. Like I said before, previously in another video. You're going to fall in love with it. And once you do that, oh, more of God's mysterious ways will come upon you. Yes, more will get revealed. More of God's mysteries will come to light. Always more of what he needs us to know will be revealed. Mm-hmm. Remember, it, it, you know, everybody's at different stages, so God's going to reveal it 
uh, you know, where he, you know, reveal what he knows we're ready for, right? I say that often for a reason. Won't let that sink in. So for any of you that might be feeling a little bit, you know, don't let the demon of discouragement get in there. Hmm, yeah, don't let it get in there. Don't, don't let things out. Don't let the external stuff discourage you. Okay, don't. You know, that, all right, part of that, here's your tip on that, y'all. For any of you who are struggling with that, and you might be feeling like you think you're stuck. Remember, I've said before, you're not stuck. The enemy wants you to think that you are. Mmm, but you're not. You're not. See, God got you out of that. Okay? God got you out because you're not stuck. But the enemy wants you to think that you are. Okay, that's how he works. Mm-hmm. And he does it in a number of ways. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. So, don't let that demon of discouragement in there. Mm-mm. Yep, just rebuke in the name of Jesus. Right, so for y'all who are feeling that way, hang tight. Remember what God tells us, to hold steadfast. Keep our faith. 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 All right? That's the most important word right there. That's the most important truth right there. Keep the faith. Yes, I even have a song that I wrote years ago, and it's copyrighted. Yes, and it's, it's titled exactly that. Keeping the faith. Alright? No, I'm not going to share that today. But, you know, we'll get to that later. But it's called Keeping the Faith. And I'll tell you something. It's so true. I know it's difficult, especially when you're first coming out of that narcissistic abuse situation, trying to get it all, get it all figured out and get your feet back on stable ground and things like that. You're trying to make sense of what the heck is happening in the spiritual awakening. You don't even know. You're like, Ugh. <laughs> okay, I get it. I know it's tough to, but one of these days for any of you struggling with that, just know that it's not as difficult as the enemy wants you to think it is to keep the faith. It isn't. It's just a matter of going, okay, you know what? You know, all, uh, so many out there want to try and, oh, yeah, through those subliminal messages, too. Y'all got to be careful. I remind people of that all the time. Got to be careful with those. Because over time, they will instill the demon of worry. Don't. Uh, uh, tell that one to take a hike also. All right, you tell that one. You, you will recognize it within yourself. Uh, dear, because you got to do all that inner work. Okay, you got to go in. You got to do that reflecting. See, remember, narcissistic abusers do not want to... They don't like to self-reflect. Okay, they do not. Uh, they, you know, especially the full-blown one. Now, I will tell you, there is a difference real quick, y'all. The part-time narcissistic abusers, mm, yeah. They will do a little bit of self-reflecting. But they only go to a certain point. Yeah. And a lot of times, they're always bringing up things from the past. It, I'm not saying that we can't remember certain things that God needs us to remember. But a lot of times when they bring it up, they bring up trivial stuff that doesn't, doesn't matter anymore. It doesn't matter. So, there, here's your encouragement, y'all. Because, look, whenever they, whenever they do that, we just learn to go, okay, that's nice. <laughs> and we just we forget about it because it's like that's not even it's not even important it's like it's not even it doesn't even it's like it doesn't matter anymore it's like that season over it's gone it's like that's part of why you know when god you know jesus said no no man that look it back and i know don't let y'all don't let the enemy confuse you with that y'all because yes it's okay to self-reflect connect the dot god needs you to remember red flags and all of that he needs you to remember this stuff for going forward but you're not living there. That's what Jesus meant by that. Okay. But anyway, looking back, looking back all the time, living in the past. That's what he means. There's your spiritual truth with that one. All right. For those who have missed it, I have said that elsewhere. And and another video. Yeah. Okay. So for those who didn't catch that yet, that's what Jesus meant by that. All right. So I just want y'all to know that we don't live in the past. We're forward going. You know, God is a forward God, <laughs> but at the same time, renewing our mind to help us remember things, because none of that, remember, that stuff is not going away, all of the shenanigans of enemy and stuff is not going away, the spiritual battle is not going anywhere, all right, it's, it's been here this whole time, we didn't know it, now we do, all right, and for those of you who are just coming into your spiritual awakening, hang in there. <laughs> hang in there. That's why I remember telling fellow warrior, I was like, oh, because, you know, when they share a little bit of their stage, I said, oh, I see where, where, what stage you're at. And I, that's why I told them, 
strap in and hold on. Because <laughs> we're going to get a little bumpy for a little while. All right? <laughs> but not, and it's not a bad thing. But it does. It gets bumpy for just a season or two. All right? Seriously. So, but just hang, hold steadfast. Stay with God. Stay with God. We often say that for a reason. Because the enemy, oh, because the, and if we don't stay with God, the enemy can and will put those wall view blinders back on. Yes. The enemy will put those worldview blinders back on. And we don't want to see that happen to y'all. And you know what? Here's a good way to think about it. The worldview blinders, that's that cognitive dissonance. Stop and think about that. Let that sink in. Okay? All of that cloud of confusion and how he got us to go along, to get along in the upside down world. Uh-huh. Remember, in the feet, oh, when God tells us. You know, we're going to keep doing all, keep our girt, uh, uh, keep our girt about truth. Oh, yeah. And we can, we got to continue to do all to keep standing upright. And that's upright in the Lord. Think about, mm-hmm, when that rug got pulled out, God turning it back upright. Okay, God turned it back into the upright position. I've said that before. It just fits right here. But the enemy wants to... Reverse that progress. He wants to reverse it and put that wall view blinder, put those wall view blinders back on that cloud of cognitive dissonance so that he can put them back to sleep. Yes, God does not want y'all going back to sleep. You know, you're in the spiritual awakening for a reason. All right, the spiritual awakening, you're in it for a reason. There's a lot more lessons to be learned. Yes. But hang in there, hang in there, because uh, there's several of us, all right, you know, we, we're coming together, and it's a beautiful thing because we can help each other, and we do need to support each other, y'all. Like I said in a previous video, you know, spiritual warriors, all right, <laughs> fellow warriors, chosen empath, okay, aka chosen one, we got to support each other. We've got to, and that's just the way it is. If we don't, then that means the enemy can further succeed in keeping people divided. Because that really is the big thing right there. Got to keep people divided and fighting among... No, see, God doesn't want to see that. God doesn't want to see that. He doesn't want to see that. He's chosen empath. So they got to come together and support each other. And there's tons of different ways to do that. Right, we keep everybody in our prayers, enemies included, always. Never forget that, <laughs> okay? But we don't want to see y'all get tripped up and the enemy succeed in putting the world view blinders back up. So that's why we're really adamant about you know staying dedicated and talking to God, asking God, okay, what is what is my what is your purpose? It's already in you. Oh yeah, it's already in you. It's already in you. You just gotta find it. You know, sometimes it takes a little while, and sometimes you have to remember, oh, yeah, whatever talents, okay, whatever talents you had as you were going through those first two realities, start picking up, oh, wait a minute. And also, here's a bit of encouragement for you all, too, that might be having trouble with, okay, you're like, so how can I overcome this constant ruminating? Well, I'll tell you this, start doing more of what you love. Remember what Jesus said. Yeah, he said, where your treasure is, there will be your heart also. Do more of what you love. You, you see that meme going around, right? Yeah, it doesn't mean do more of what you, well, not more of what you want. No, it's more of what you love, okay? More things that you love doing because God put that in you, all right? That's why God put that in you to do it. Whether it be writing, drawing, whatever it is, you know, singing, dancing, creating music, creating a blog, right? Yeah, I mean, whatever, okay? That he put that something that you enjoy doing. Like some people, they're not big about writing. Like, I don't really care to write, <laughs> okay? Then that's fine. But they have other things, you know, playing sports, getting out there, exercising, whatever it is. You do more of what you love, okay? Because that's where your that where your heart is. Okay, where your heart is in the things that you love to do, that you enjoy doing, that God put in you to do, okay, that, that, you know, that's your treasure. That's your treasure. So where your treasure is, there will be your heart also, the love. 
Okay, everyone? So there's your encouragement on that. And as always, if you have any questions, you know where to reach me. For additional information, insight, and encouragement, you can check out these videos right here. Sending love and light to all fellow warriors. Thank you for watching and for your support. Until next time, let's show some gratitude to the Heavenly Father and you. Keep being you. In Jesus' name, amen.